Hello everyone and welcome back or if you're new here my name is Jake and I'm Bess and today we're just going to show you what we've been up to this past week because we have seen some amazing places as well as showing you these amazing places that we found we're going to talk a little bit about how we find these places and sort of the apps we use for that and how we find places to sleep around them as well so the first place is called Torcal Nature Reserve or National Park and it's supposedly one of Europe's most impressive cast rock formations. <music> Today we are in Torcal National Park and in case we pronounce that wrong we will put the the name here um, it's really beautiful there's two walks you can do here there's a yellow trail and a green trail the, we've done both today the yellow is two hours but not as impressive the green one is, covers the most impressive part and it's only 45 minutes yeah but the reason I love the yellow trail even though it was really long is because you could go through like this really narrow rock canyon thing which is really cool um, so yeah if you're in this, er in this part of Spain it's definitely worth coming here visiting yeah, there's only a short drive away from Malaga so definitely recommend it very steep though So when we were finished with those two walks we then drove down to our parking spot for the night where we slept but first how did we get there so Beth actually did a lot of the work for this one yeah usually Jake does a lot of the research for the places we go he is the organizer of most of our trips but this one I actually found <laughs> for once so when I do research for things sometimes I look at blogs and stuff like that um, most of the time though I just use the Google Maps app if you scroll across the top part where it says like groceries, restaurants and all that, you see a button called attractions. Sometimes it's not on there. You click more and then select attractions. Mm -hmm. These will pop up in, in the area where you're searching and then you can just click on them and we save them in a list if we want to go to them. But yeah, under attractions, you can find all kinds of things from like museums to landmarks in cities or even national parks and walks to do yeah. so and viewpoints. And then you just click on them and there'll always be a picture because someone's taken a picture from there and you can be like, oh yeah, actually that looks really yeah. good. Or, ah, that looks rubbish, next one. And that's how we find most of our spots. Yeah. And I know you mentioned blog posts, but we actually do this more because we find that when we're, doing the, when we're looking at blog, uh, blog posts, it's normally the more touristy things yeah the more touristy things in the city so when you type in andalusia you'll get malaga marbella yeah. lots of other like cities which <laughs> we're, we're not really interested that. in no. so we like to try and find some of the more remote in the countryside things yeah and that's our number one way of doing it mm -hmm. and then as for park for night options so when we have a spot mm. we then jump over to another app which is park for night and see if there's any spots there that we can use to sleep at while we're visiting these areas. Yeah, and the good thing about Park for Night as well is I think we'll at some point maybe make a video about more into the apps that we use, but Park for Night is there are so many different free spots and people leave comments as well. 
so if it's had some recent comments sometimes people say oh don't sleep here the police moved us on or don't sleep here there were people doing crazy things in the car park yeah. and and then you kind of know but we just go through and choose the best one don't we or you exactly do. yes and so with the with the example of Torcal, just below the main park if you went down the mountain a little bit there was a parking spot where there were already several camper vans and we yeah. stayed there as well um, so that's our way of doing it. We go to Google Maps, find the spot, find the attractions, think if it looks good, then find the same place on the par for night map and see if we can join the two up. Otherwise, it'd just be a day trip and then drive somewhere else. Mm. But we don't only rely on the attraction. Sometimes we just use Google Maps itself. So let's start off at El Torcal, which is what we just shown you. And if we come down there, the first thing we do on the map is set it to satellite mode. That way we can get a better idea of the actual area. And just zoom out a little bit, and I spotted these lakes, which I then realised, well, found out later, were actually reservoirs, and thought that looks pretty cool. Must be some nice things to do around there, or walks around there. So then we thought, okay, we're going to go there. We jumped over to park for night, and spotted it, found the same uh, reservoir, and thought, okay, there's a lot of spaces here. So it's always good to make sure that there's a decent amount because. Like sometimes you get somewhere and you think a park for night spot is going to be good and then you look at it and it's like either really uneven ground or there's loads of people there or whatever so you need to just have a few options open but there were a lot of options here. And then we knew that we could have a good amount of time walking around there and know that there was somewhere to sleep so we didn't have to think all right we can visit this place but then we need to drive off and find somewhere else afterwards. And it was really nice and we'll show you a few little clips that we took there. So we just drove to this reservoir, we didn't really know what to expect, but it's so beautiful you can drive around the whole thing and there seems to be loads of different little sections of it. Some parts you're allowed to kayak and swim and stuff like that and some parts you aren't because there's some prohibited signs. But yeah, the water's incredibly blue and it's a sunny day. I want you to wake up But you struggle when you sleep I want you to shape up But in your dreams you feel relief I want you to wake up But I've been up for so long Got blood in your ears blood in your So as you can see from the footage there, it was definitely worth the detour and a good little find. Something that we never would have seen if we were just looking at blogs or anything like that. Um, and the best thing was, is it was so quiet there. Like we really were kind of the only people there for a few days. And then after a few days, some other people started coming in vans, but we were kind of leaving then anyway. But just walking around, it was really peaceful. It was. And we found our little reservoir park up, so we, we headed there. We just got to a new spot and it's beautiful, but I don't know if you can see, there's quite a bit of a slant on it. It doesn't affect us when we're trying to sleep. It's more the worries about the handbrake that mainly Beth has, because as you can see, quite rightfully, we have got quite a sheer drop on each side and we don't really want to roll backwards that way either. So we need to see what we can do about that. Okay, so when we ordered these, they didn't seem quite like what we've got so don't laugh too much but this is our little thing to stop the wheels, the wheels from coming backwards i think we should reinforce it with a few stones as well just to make sure
So this place is absolutely gorgeous. It's so beautiful. And we were gonna be up there, but unfortunately someone has taken the spot already, which means that's why we're on this slant, but we've made it work. We've still got a beautiful view. I would like to get the drone up, but I'm not gonna do it while there's someone else there. I don't wanna be the annoying person who flies their drone in front of other people. So we'll just have to make do with the scenery like this. We're making a curry and we're gonna show you one of our favorite vegetables which is this. It's, some people call it a cassava root, some people call it a yucca. There are many other names for it, but we've eaten half it already. Usually it's like this long. So they can be really long, but yeah. There's an art to it though. It's got like a kind of core where you get some stringy bit. And if you have tried one of these before, let us know in the comments whether you like it or if you would like to try it, let us know. Because I don't think, I'd never really seen one before we came to Spain, so maybe they, maybe you just can't get them everywhere. But to, to save, like, to wasting, I used the peeler. I think it's quite, you have to have quite a sharp peeler for it. So after Beth uh, skillfully cut up the yucca, I cooked it and it's finished now. And look at that view I have been looking at while cooking. Looks almost a bit like England, except the mountains in the horizon. Let's enjoy some dinner. And so yeah, we managed to have a wonderful dinner with a beautiful, beautiful view and it was lovely and that's what we normally try and do. We normally try and find the more scenic spots definitely in the countryside as opposed to the urban built up areas. Mm. But obviously that's not always the case. Sometimes we go somewhere and it's not what it seems. But that brings us to the end of the video. And if you enjoyed our video, please give us a little thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see us next week. And also if you have any ideas or any apps or anything that you use to find different places to go on adventures, then let us know in the comments because we would love to have some new ideas. Yeah. And we'll see you next week. So we had a magnificent dinner. Magnificent. <laughs> <laughs>